Hello and welcome to the next video in the binary series. In this video we are going to look at how to add binary numbers together. First we're going to recap the rules of adding decimal numbers. Then I'm going to show you how you can use these rules in the binary system. So what are the binary addition rules? Talking quite a bit about the carry. Then I'm going to show you examples. Then you will have a chance to do some practice questions for which you will find the answer at the end of the video. So, when you have to add decimal numbers together, you probably don't even think about how to do it because it's so familiar, you've done it so many times in school. But just have a look at what do you actually have to do. Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you line up the numbers correctly. So the right place values goes under the right place value in the two different decimal numbers. So you always have to line them up from the right, going towards the bigger place values. Then you start to add them together digit by digit, starting with the smallest place value, the unit place. And if you end up with a sum that is bigger than 10, you're going to record a so-called carry which basically tells you that you now have to move some digits into the next place value. So for example, if you had to add together 569 plus 1264, how would you do it? Now you've got two numbers. Addition is commutative, so strictly speaking, doesn't matter which number goes on top and which number goes at the bottom. However, I always like to put the longer number at the top. So, I'm going to start with 1264 being at the top and 569 being at the bottom. I'm going to put the positive sign here, the addition sign here, so I don't forget that I'm actually adding the numbers together. And then, starting from the smallest place value, I'm starting to add them together. 4 plus 9 makes 13, so I'm only recording the 3, which in the case is a unit, and I carry 1 over to the tenths column, because now I'm 13, 1 ten and 3 units. Then I start to add together the tens. Don't forget these are now tens, but I can add them together as single digits. 1 plus 6 makes 7, plus 6 makes 13 again. So I again record the 3, and I move on to the next place value, not forgetting that I actually added together 10 60 and 60, so I ended up with 130, so that's why the 1 ended up in the hundreds column. And now I'm adding together 1 and 2 plus 5, that gives a nice and easy 8, and I don't have to add anything to the 1, so I just bring it down. So these two bits are the very important carries. So let's elaborate on the role of the carry a little bit longer. So in decimal, when a sum of an addition goes over 10, we carry one to the next column. For example, if you wanted to add together 7 and 9, you end up with 16. So 6 stays in the column, unit column for example, and the 1 carries to the 10th column. However, when we look at the binary place values, we can see that the place values themselves are quite small. The place values are 1, 2, 4, 8, so you can probably elaborate that there is going to be carry popping up all over the place. So, for example, if you need to add together 1 and 1, which would be 2 in decimal, that is now 1, 0 in binary, because 2 is the next place value up in binary. And if you had to add together 1 and 1 and 1, now that is 3 in decimal, but in binary, that would be 1, 1. So, the addition rules for binary addition is 0 and 0 makes 0, 1 and 0 makes 1, 0 and 1 makes 1, 1 and 1 makes 0 with a carry of 1, and 1 and 1 and 1 makes 1 with a carry of 1. Now, let's have a look at some examples. The first example is 1010. Add to it 
one one zero so again pick up the longer number and copy the shorter number underneath making sure that you're lining it up with the correct place values so it's a good idea to always start from the smallest place value add zero plus zero makes zero one plus one makes zero carry the one now let's think about it for a moment what is actually going on in here i'm in the place value of one in here a place value of two four and eight when i'm adding these two digits together i'm actually adding two and two and what does the two makes a four so that's why i have to record this digit here because now a four would be one zero zero so the zero stays in here and the one gets into the four column similarly when i need to add these together zero makes no difference to the addition but one and one makes a zero carry the one so what actually happened i've got two fours adding together makes an eight so that's why now i need an extra in here and two eights makes 16 which is zero and carry one into here so this is the actual solution to the sum of these two binary numbers so the next example is one 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 zero zero one add to it one 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 zero so again pick out the longer number one 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 zero zero one and copy the shorter number underneath zero one 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 again don't forget we're doing addition now one more thing that until you become very familiar with the addition please make sure that you're placing the columns underneath each other quite carefully so your numbers don't get wonky because then you might add together the wrong digits if you copy the numbers in a slightly hasty fashion so one plus zero makes one zero plus one makes one zero plus one makes one one plus one makes a zero carry the one now i've got three ones one one and one let's have a think about what's going on in here again looking at the place values so what i've got here now is one two four eight sixteen thirty two uh, sixty four so what's actually going on in here i've got three sixteens now the three sixteens two of them make up a 32 so i need to put one in here and the extra 16 stays here so that's why when you add three ones together you carry one and record one in the uh, in the column as well and this one is one plus one is zero carry the one because two 32s now makes one 64 and no 32s and there is nothing to add here so you just ca uh, copy the one down so the sum of this addition is one zero one zero one 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 you can always double check by converting each of them back into decimal adding them together and see if this is exactly the equivalent of that decimal sum however that takes quite some time so i'm not going to do it third example one one zero zero one zero add to it one one zero zero one one zero one out of these two now this is the longer number so i'm going to copy that one one zero zero one one zero one and put that on the top and then i'm going to copy the shorter number zero one zero zero one one and now add them together 1 plus 0 makes 1, 0 plus 1 makes 1, 1 plus 0 makes 1, 1 plus 0 makes 1, 0 plus 1 makes 1, 0 plus 1 makes 1, nothing to add to this one and nothing to add to this one. 
That was a relatively simple addition and we ended up with all ones. Okay, let's look at the fourth example. So we want to add together one, zero, one, 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 zero, and one, one, zero, one, zero. So how to do it? Again, pick out the longer number and put it on the top. And then, making sure that you're lining it up correctly, start from the right-hand side and copy the shorter number underneath. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And now we can start adding them together, digit by digit. 0 and 0 make 0. 1 add 1 makes 0, carry the 1. 1 add 1 makes 0, carry the 1. 1 add 1 add 1 makes 1, carry the 1. 1 add 1 makes 0, carry the 1. 1 add 1 again makes 0, carry the 1. And there's nothing else to add here, so I can just copy down the final digit. So the answer to this addition is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And the last example, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, add 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So copy the longer number, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Copy underneath the shorter, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's, me just, let, let's just double check, 4, 1, 2, 0 and a 1. Add together. 0 plus 1 makes a 1. 1 plus 0 makes a 1. 1 plus 0 makes a 1. 0 plus 1 makes a 1. 0 plus 1 makes a 1. 1 plus 1 makes a 0. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 makes a 1. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 makes a 0. Carry the 1. And there's nothing else to add, so just copy the 1 down. So the solution is one zero one zero followed by with five ones. I hope that this short video helped you to understand the addition of the binary numbers. In the next slide, I'm going to give you a few practice questions that you can try on your own, and then you will find the answers to them. Here are the questions. And here are the answers.